Okay, first I'm going to take an old shirt that I've previously ruined with liquid latex, like most of my clothes, a cereal bowl and a bottle of liquid latex. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to dip cotton balls into the latex and then smooth that all around my mouth until I get the desired effect and size of the, let's say, smile that I'm going for. Using my fingers, I'm going to smooth out the edges as thin as possible. I'm not really going for a super neat look here because after all, it's going to wind up pretty gross. Once I have the entire mouth done, I'm going to take strips of the same cotton balls and drape over my lips. I'll fill in those lips later after my latex dries. I'm going to continue to do that through our whole, again, let's say smile, until I get the desired look. Now that that's done, I'm going to block out my eyebrows just to protect them from the liquid latex. You can use glue for this or put Vaseline or any sort of oil on them. I personally like glue because it comes right off when I peel the liquid latex off. Jumping right into the under eye skin, I'm layering liquid latex underneath both eyes, making sure each layer is dried and be very careful not to get your eyelashes in or you will pull them off. I believe I did about three or four layers because I wanted it to be thick enough that it wouldn't rip whenever I pulled down on the eyelid skin. I did speed up the drying process with a small handheld fan, then I jumped right into putting latex layers over the top of the eyelids. I didn't worry about my eyebrows too much because we blocked those off with the glue stick earlier. But do be careful not to drip liquid latex in your eye. I can tell you from experience, that's not good. After completing this process on both eyes, it's now time to add some paint. I picked up my alcohol activated creature palette paint, which only works with 99% alcohol and added some dimension between the split skin on my lips. I started with red and then moved to black to add even more depth and dimension and then later I'll do the same thing with my eyes. Taking a larger brush and a pink color I did all around my lips just to make them look like it was irritated like they would be if you split your skin open or had somebody sew your lips shut. Because I wanted to leave some skin still exposed, I got a wipe and some alcohol and cleaned off the skin that's coming down over the lips, leaving the inside still very dark. Okay, now it's time to gouge these eyes open. Taking a toothpick, I picked at the edges of the liquid latex underneath my eye just until I got it up enough to pull it with my fingers. I did dole this toothpick on the counter before using it, but still be careful because it's sharp and it is your eye. After continuing that on the other eye, it's time to do the top lids. Yes, that's the universal sign for flip your eyelids open. Again, remember to be very careful because it is a sharp toothpick. I tried using the end of a paintbrush, but it didn't really work out for me, so back to the toothpick. Taking any normal foundation, I went ahead and added some color to my nose, forehead, and don't forget those new eyelids that you have, so they'll all match whenever we decide to pull them up with our fish hooks. Speaking of fish hooks, I got some brand new clean fish hooks, just in case I stab myself. Remember, these are actually very sharp, no way around that. 
I hooked through my top eyelids and then wrapped it around my ponytail just to hold it in place for now. I repeated that process with the other eye and then with the bottom lids. When working on the bottom lids, I had to leave the strings dangling until I added a color later to hook them to. But the strings gave you something to pull the eyelids down so I could paint underneath it. For paint, I just decided to use some black eyeshadow to fill in my eye holes. I wanted to go ahead and keep it extra safe. You can use body paint or water activated paint if you choose, but I didn't need a lot because I was only trying to give a little depth to the inside of my eye and then cover it in blood later. Using Ben Nye New Scab Blood, which is my absolute favorite blood to work with. It is super thick, super sticky, and definitely stays where you put it. I went ahead and globbed it all on the inside of the new eyelids to make it look like my eyes had been ripped open. Because this blood is so thick, I didn't have to worry about it dripping into my eyes at all, but I did end up getting it into my eyelashes, which was a pain to get out later on, but totally worth the look. And because with blood, enough is never enough, I just continued to do this until I got that disgusting inside of your body type look, and then I continued the same process with my mouth. The camera did stop rolling, but I obviously made my hair look crazy. I added some extra blood splatter to my face, then I went ahead and added a gash on my forehead. I really hope that you liked this look. It was a lot of fun to create. Remember, if you recreate it, please tag me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my God, no!